Coming up in this episode, the first electric truck for businesses in Denmark, a cozy dinner for expats, and another useful resource for you about S-Train. Hi, I'm Julie. And I'm Nemo. Welcome to MyDenmarkTV.com. This episode of MyDenmarkTV.com is made possible by CopenhagenClicks.com. Featuring the largest collection of Danish websites covering all the practical aspects of your stay in Denmark and all explained via videos enabling you to get around the Danish language barrier and get so much more out of your time here. And here we are at Lange Linja, very close to the Little Mermaid, but she's not here yet, still in Shanghai. And as you see, we have windmills right at the back over there. I see that you're very much into green lifestyle, ain't you? Yes, I am. I'm passionate about everything that has to do with green development. And I know that Sabina has something very interesting to show us. So take it away, Sabina. Well, thanks, Nima and Julie. Now, we're out here in Vidova at KLS Grafisk Cruz. And I don't know if you remember the launch of 1010 that we covered in the end of October. The turnout really wasn't that good, but we were actually caught by one company, Kalis Graphics Groups, because they were really front runners on CO2 emission. We're here today because there is a whole ceremony going on. They are the first company, private business in Denmark, who will be introduced to an electrical driven truck. Now, the Climate and Energy Minister, Lykke Fries, is also here to congratulate the ceremony. So let's have a look. Now we are here. I believe we are the second team or people who are actually trying out the electrical driven truck. Isn't that true, Casper? Yes, it's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now this is a big day for you. Um, what do you think this means for KLS? Um, it's very important for us to get this truck um, up and running. Have you made any calculations as to how much uh, CO2 emission that you are going to reduce by using this electrical truck? Um, Our total uh, emission uh, from the company electricity is, is by far the, the, the most. That's why our first focus was the windmill. Uh, that was uh, almost 85% of our CO2. Uh, and transportation is 8% of our CO2. And I can actually tell that this makes more or less no sound, this truck. It's very silent. But as you can hear, there are some sound. It sounds more or less like the metro. Yeah, so it has this electric sound. The next focus is our heating in the in the company, and we're going to reuse our own heat from the printing machines, and that will be rebuilt. Our heating uh, uh, equipment will be uh, rebuilt in 2011, okay. so we'll be yeah, self-supplied yeah. with, with heat. Well, as you can see, we are really up front with what's happening in the environment here in uh, Denmark, in Vidor specifically. And I think that's it for this time for What's Up, so let's go back to Julie and Nima. Thanks, Sabina. It was great. You know what, Nima? We should have been there and asked for a drive ourselves. No, no. I, I, no. I prefer the bike. No, I'm not interested. You do? Yeah. So tell me, did you bike a lot back in London? Um, not quite. Let's not get into that. Okay. Should we head over to Vladimir? <laughs> Hi, I'm Vladimir Chen. Today I'm going to review a very useful resource made for iPhones and iPads. It's called Live Esto, and the app allows you to see S trains in real time. It works like this you download the app in the App Store, install it on your device, and when you start the app, you will be able to view S trains live. For instance, where they are, if your train is delayed or not. Green color means it's on time. Yellow means it's delayed 5 or 10 minutes, and if the train icon is red, then it's late up to 20 minutes. But the last one happens quite rarely. The app costs only 12 krona, and it's a great resource if you use S-Trains a lot. Imagine going to the station, you open up the app and check out how far the approaching train is, so you can plan your trips better. A very handy resource, and I personally use it a lot. 
By the way, this is the first time I review iPhone apps. Let me know what you think in the comments area below. Do you like it? Should I bring more reviews of iPhone or iPad apps? Let me know. If you like this resource, you might like CopenhagenClicks.com, a website with an ever-growing sites collection and tutorials explained in English to make your stay in Denmark a much more fun experience. That's it for this week. Enjoy! Thanks, Vladimir. So, Julie, I know last week you attended a very interesting event. Yes, I did. I went to an event called Expat Dinner, so let's take a look. And here I am at Norpo Library where the Expat Dinner is taking place. And with me here is Lord Hoy from Vaini Nydanska. Welcome to our show. Thanks. Please tell me, what is the purpose with this uh, expat dinner? Well, the purpose is for, uh, for expats living, working, studying in Denmark to meet up with ordinary Danes. Okay. So to meet up and celebrate that the expats are coming here and enriching our culture, you could say, enriching our everyday life with uh, a lot of resources and a lot of impulse from the world. Yes. Well, we all have the same interest in giving newcomers in Denmark the very best uh, possibility to, to interact with Danes and get to know Danish society. And we thought that expat dinners was an obvious event also to have at the libraries, because libraries are a, a neutral space of, of culture and just brings together the local community. So what is your intention of attending the event like this? Uh, well, I it's always a bit of a challenge when you move to another country mm -hmm. and uh, the, one of the biggest challenges is meeting people. Okay. So uh, I'd like to meet uh, other expats, I'd also le like to meet some Danes okay. um, and just get to know some people because I don't really know very many people here so far. Okay. My expectation from this dinner is to make contact, yes, with other expats um, and other foreigners in Denmark, mm -hmm. but also to make contacts with Danes yeah. because I think that's really crucial to yeah. success uh, in Denmark. Please tell me a little bit about your activity. Just a network for expats who are living and working here in Denmark. What we do are events exactly like we're having this evening. Yeah. We take the point of view that there are some structural issues yeah. which expats need to overcome when they live here. How do I find out about these paperwork, this commune of the hospital, the childcare? Yeah. But what we really take a focus upon is the network is the absolutely essential part yeah. of enjoying your time in Denmark, whether it be a social network mm. or a professional network. And what tonight is about, as you can see and from the people you've met, it's about meeting other people, other yeah. Danes, but also other expats, and just opening your horizons and meeting some other people. And that's what the whole thing's about. That's all from me from the expat dinner today. And now let's go to our mailbag. This week we're going to answer a question from Ali Abbas who writes I am in Denmark on a residence permit, used to live in London before this. Can you please tell me about the best place to go find a part-time job or about jobs for English-speaking professionals? Because it's going to take me some time to learn even moderate Danish. Thanks Ali for asking the question. First of all, I would recommend you to check out the websites like Job Index or StepStone because they do have job ads in English as well. Secondly, since you're looking for a part-time job and, and you have a business background, I would recommend you to offer a private lesson to business students. So please feel free to post a personal ad in Copenhagen's business school or university or even Nysborg. Alternatively, you can also contact big international companies as they do look out for English-speaking professionals. You can also check our episode 65 as we do cover this. Well, Ellie, I do hope that you find our answer useful. If you have some other tips for Ellie, please feel free to leave a comment below. And in return for asking the question, Ellie will get 30 minutes of free consultation with us. That's great. You can also benefit from a personal consultation with my Denmark TV team. All you need to do is click on the link below that says consult with my Denmark TV team. Well, that's it for this week. And I guess we better hurry because it's getting dark and cold. we're cold too, yeah. right? <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please feel free to leave your comment below. And if you have a question, just pop it at mailbag at mydenmarktv.com. Please follow us on Twitter or you can also find us on Facebook. Yeah. Until next Wednesday. Yep. Thanks for watching and... Bye. Bye. Oh, that's so sweet.
Okay. She got lost in my eyes. Yeah. <laughs>